If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So there's been a few people who've been um, following the thread that I've done on today's racing where I've been talking about um, you know, it's a, a back to layer, a late back day and stuff like that. Now, when I post that up, it's really a reflective thing. So you're sort of saying, well, you know, this is what happened. But the idea is that you take that information and then you can allow that to put out a few strategies. I'm not saying because yesterday or the last 11 days were back to lay days that you should, you know, it's going to be the same going forward. That doesn't make any sense. But um, nonetheless, that's there to instruct you. You know, the reason that I posted it is because it was interesting. And I thought, well, you know, that, that it just caught my imagination. So that's when I post that stuff up. If you want to know a bit more data about it, then reply to the thread on the forum and you can uh, find out uh, what happened on any one particular day. Some days will be a bit random. Some days will have a theme through it. So. You know, that's what I was trying to pick up on that after the crazy Monday that we had. There seemed to be a theme running through the market thereafter, and then I expect it to settle down at some point. So that's, that's why I posted it. But what I thought I'd do in this video is actually um, talk about the, how to set up a simple back-to-lay bot uh, within the software. It's really simple. There's nothing complicated about it, and you can invert it and do a laid back or whatever you want. But I thought I'd just show you how to do that uh, on the software. So let's have a look. You can see I've got today's racing up. Uh, a few races are gone already. And uh, I'll just get rid of those. If I pick it up, we'll pick one a bit further down and create some automation that will allow us um, to do something interesting. So what I'm going to do is create a new rules file for the market. And the file, uh, the, the, the rule name will be called place a back bet. So this is the first rule within this container effectively and it will be to place a back bet and we're going to let it do that 10 minutes uh, until zero and we're only going to do it once and we're only going to do it in row one. Row one is the uh, favorite basically on Betfair. So parameters will be um, we're going to go at best market price we're going to do it for a tenner and there's going to be nothing more interesting than that. We're not going to attach any conditions or anything like that to it or any um, signals and so on and so forth. So we're just going to place a standard back bet. So I'll apply that. That will go up here. And then if I go in and add a new rule, um, this rule will be to hedge our position at post time. And the rule we're going to invoke there will be to green all selections. And we're going to do that at post time. And to be safe, we're going to do it three times every five seconds. And it's that simple. That's that's all that you need to do. Nothing more complicated than that. And um, one of the th reasons you may want to do this is that it actually provides a good test for what's going on in the market. So you'll be surprised sometimes if you trade the market and you're active and you're trying to work in and around the market what you may find is that you get sucked into it so the price heads down here so you back it and then the price goes up so you lay it and you just end up making a loss all over the place when in fact if you'd have just focused on one side or the other that would have actually allowed you to make a profit so running a bit of automation like this um, in the background when you're not present um, or you just want to examine and understand what's going on uh, will often help you so it can be very worthwhile running a simple bit of automation to allow you to, to understand that and see what's going on. So if we go back to this, um, we just need to apply, we need to save it actually, that would be helpful. Back to lay. And um, we'll close that and then we can apply it to market. So we'll apply it to this particular market. Automation rule is down here somewhere, back to lay, there it is. And then on this particular market, it will place a back to lay bet on the favorite and trade out at post time. So you can see it's instantly gone in there and placed a back bet. And we just need to wait until post time, uh, which is about eight minutes off to see what happens. So uh, we'll leave it until then and come back to it in a second. So as you can see, with this demonstration. It was really simple to do. All that we did was we backed the favourite when we arrived at the market. Well, actually, we didn't back the favourite. Bet Angel did that for us. We just said, can you back the favourite as we arrive to the market? 
And then as we reach post time, BetAngel just hedged that position for us. And on this occasion, you can see that it made four pound for a 10 pound stake. And the advantage of doing this is it removes some of the emotion. This can help you a lot when you're actively trading because you can actually um, get rid of uh, a lot of the noise in the market. You may be jumping in and out of the market and letting the market dominate your thinking when in fact sometimes just doing something simple may have worked. So if there's a theme to a day then you can find that that works quite well. But also it, rem it allows you to look at a particular market uh, in an unemotional state and see what actually happened and you'll notice that the market moves in and out of profit at certain points but it's really really simple strategy that we followed here which is that um, by backing as we arrived at the market and then hedging at post time we've caught a steamer um, without taking too much risk on it and you know it is possible to identify horses that are likely to steam and markets that are likely to move or not move so you can then start to set up the trade according to that. You can say, well, what I'm actually going to be doing here is looking for a favorite that's likely to be backed. Now, you're not going to win them all, but doing a strategy like this then shifts your focus to trying to find um, a favorite that is going to be backed at some point. And of course, the advantage of trading is that when you're actively doing this, you can see in this particular race here, we're headed for a close finish, that when you back the steamer, you can make money from it regardless of whether it goes on to win the race or not. So in this particular race, at this moment in time, you can see that there's a battle going on between the first and second favourite. By no means certain that the heavily backed horse is going to win this race, but uh, we've profited from it already anyway, so we don't have to worry about that um, at all. And in fact, repeat this on a few occasions and your yield that you'll get from this will be much more than you would have got from just a, an outright gamble anyway. But yeah, really simple strategy. When we went into the market, um, we backed it at odds of 3.5 and BetAngel traded out for us at 248 and gave us our profit, regardless of actually what happened in the underlying race itself. So I'm tempted just to wait here and see uh, if the favourite pulls this off because it looks like it's coming under a lot of pressure in the final, uh, as it's approaching the final jump. It will reach about sort of 110, 120 when it reaches that final jump. If it clears that jump, then the price will uh, come plummeting in. But if the other horse uh, does a better jump, then um, it's very likely that the price would fly out. So it looks like it's cleared that last jump and is on its way here, unless if it uh, messes up in the, in the final stretch of the race, which is unlikely, I should think. But anyway, we made money regardless of the result anyhow, and we can repeat this automatically throughout the day on any particular race.